welcome to the channel uh, where I'm hoping to uh, catch a sunset it's a uh, very last minute I think there may be some kind of a sunset tonight I just thought I'd just uh, pop out and see if I can capture anything it's been threatening to rain as well so uh, this might be a wet one and I don't have any protectives uh, with me Apologies for any uh, wind whistling in the background. Okay, so visor down, which uh, the audio will sound a lot better. But you really can't see me much now. It's the uh, 7th of April. Not sure what time, because I still haven't set my clock on the uh, dis uh, dashboard, the cluster having only recently um, changed the battery so I forgot to change it the time that is so it must be towards towards 6 p.m. now it's a Tuesday as mentioned 7th of April 2021 and 23 degrees Over to the coast, it's quite cloudy, lots of medium cloud and uh, not much low cloud, supposedly, with the weather forecast I've uh, taken a look at. But surprise, surprise, there seems to be lots of low cloud. So we'll see how we go. Last night had a very nice sunset. I didn't go out thinking the sunset might not be very good because it was a little bit like this it wasn't raining but uh, it looked very much overcast and then the clouds opened up and uh, we had quite a very nice looking sunset now it will only take me about 10 minutes to get to the coast now and with it being roughly six o'clock and the sun setting at around ten past I might just rock up having missed any form of any sunset so I'm a little bit up against it will I make the sunset is getting a little bit heavier before it was just spitting as we say now it's a fine rain I have no uh, wet proofs on just my regular Kevlar jeans and um, just my top here my regular summer jacket So this could literally be a complete washout. No sunset and me getting absolutely soaked. So ahead of us is um, a very grey looking ocean with very blue grey looking clouds. with not so much rain coming off it actually it looks quite clear, it doesn't look like any uh, rain is happening out there so with a bit of luck, this light rain I'm going through will, uh, will end I could do with having the rub of the green with the lights and uh, with traffic and so far so good From what I'm looking at over towards my right 
ain't looking like any sunset. So this may be just a video of uh, maybe uh, the moto vlogger, ramblings of a moto vlogger part two. And the lights are red ahead of us. So with a bit of luck, they have just turned green. Will I make the lights? I'm trying to create lots of drama in this episode. Can you feel the tension? So I am minutes away of uh, getting to the uh, ocean side. So just over that mound is the skyline which is above the ocean. It's looking rather bleak. I can guarantee there ain't going to be any sunset tonight. Now you've probably heard me ramble on before about sunsets and the best type of cloud. Not so much formations but the, uh, the height of the cloud. So if you have high cloud with the zero, medium cloud or low cloud then you're looking at having a very good sunset on your hands. If it's just medium cloud, then maybe a chance of a sunset. If it's just low cloud, no chance. And like I mentioned before, I had a look at the uh, weather app and um, it did say medium cloud. And um, I was half hoping that there might be some sunset to be had, but as you'll see in a moment, nothing. Now, I'd hazard a guess, a guess that this actually is low cloud. So just coming down here would normally be a really nice vantage point. So you'd see the sun setting straight ahead of us just by the right of that tanker out there whether the GoPro picks it up or not, I'm not sure. But uh, this point here would be quite a nice viewpoint for a sunset. Towards my right there's a little bit of an opening. But the uh, sun sets straight ahead of us. So, no sunset. Let's go. Wait on fella, gee, tell you, there's some absolute wazzix driving round here. Alright, so, no sunset, and for my troubles just back there, oh, my left hip's giving me a little bit of cramp. <sighs> I'm not a young fella. So, fortunately the rain has stopped, so I ain't getting wet. Fortunately, I've stayed dry. Unfortunately, no sunset. Has it been a wasted visit? Not really, it's always good to uh, have a little ride on the bike. Um, Nice temperature, 24 degrees at the moment. So uh, relatively warm, quite humid with obviously all this uh, potential rain in the skies.
think I'll head straight along. In fact, I'll go straight on, keep going all the way to Scarborough, which is the next sort of town. The uh, beach area we've just been is um, City Beach. And the next place to visit as such is Scarborough. Scarborough has been uh, improved over the years, so there's more wine bars, restaurants, not so many pubs. There used to be a big pub there, but uh, I think they had to close it down because they used to have a bit of trouble on weekends and public holidays. I'll say no more. It's very civilly sort of low rise buildings in Scarborough, but again there is talk of uh, making some higher rise buildings there, apartments and hotels, which uh, the locals are against. They want it to remain quite a low rise area, which I think is fine to keep it relatively low level. And. Uh, they're continuously trying to develop Scarborough into more of a touristy spot to visit in WA, Western Australia. I don't think the sun actually has set as yet, because looking over to my left side, it's bright still, with a little bit of colour from the sun. So I don't think the sun has quite set, but I will actually have to uh, raise my visor, I think, uh, because uh, you can't have this type of visor uh, down, because it's 10% darker than Australian standards. So uh, it looks a lot darker. I don't even know or think you'll be able to see my face or eyes at the moment. So uh, it is actually illegal to ride at dusk or sunset with these visors down, so it's going to go up. I do apologise for any um, audio whistling as of this moment. So there's a little bit of whistling, not too bad. I will drop into Scarborough itself. Whilst there's some uh, opening in the sky, there might be a sneaky sunset there. I'm thinking the sun has just set, last few minutes maybe. Anyhow, we'll have a ride around Scarborough. few uh, restaurants just to my right I've just passed. Hotel accommodation on the right, apartments. And on the left, a great big car park. There is actually a swimming pool to my uh, left, just by that wooden building on the left there. And uh, it's an open um, one for the public. I think it's a, you know, you just pay as you go. Don't need any memberships. So that's quite nice. So all this area on the left as well has been pedestrianized. On the right, we're just passing bars and restaurants. And on the right again here, more bars and restaurants. So all this on the left hand side has been uh, recently developed. So they've got a skateboard park on the left. More 
cafes and bars and restaurants to the right so it is a bit touristy here and I can only assume it's called Scarborough after Scarborough in the UK so let's just have a look here not much going on so last night I thought yeah there probably won't be a decent sunset even though it suggested on the app that it could be and it actually was today I thought there might be something of a sunset maybe a medium chance and completely no chance so it's been a poor do so I'll uh, make my way back home a different way. Approximately halfway through autumn now, so it's getting darker earlier in the evenings. So now about ten past six, and it's getting dark. It will get up to the point of being um, about five o'clock in the evening when it gets uh, dark. Then, so that's into the uh, winter months. So in WA, Western Australia, uh, at worst, for light, 5 p.m., getting dark. At best, for getting dark in the evenings, about half past seven in the summer months. So roughly a shift of about two and a half hours. So yes, it gets dark quite early in an evening regardless unlike uh, in the UK when it can be 10 half 10 at night before it's dark then again they don't have a summer do they so we're heading into uh, a place we used to live as well which is called uh, Double View we have passed through here on other videos probably mentioned before that it's called double view because there's a view of the ocean from the top of the hill as we're going up this hill now and then from the other side you can see the city of Perth so when we came back to live in Perth in 2012 we had nine months renting a place up this way at double view and it's quite a nice area very nice location for getting to Scarborough where we've just been or quite easily dropping into Perth city itself oh well it's uh, getting pretty dark now and uh, a bit of audio wind whistling in the background so I will bid you farewell thank you
you for spending the time watching this video it is much appreciated thank you for all the subscribers if you haven't subscribed then what's stopping you and until the next video bye for now